What is that? So this is the S700 from All Powers. It's freaking sweet. Trust me, I know. Want to know how I know? <laughs> well, you don't have your power in your building quite yet, but you're testing out some lights that you think you might want to use. You use some night eyes to tie up a solar battery bank. It's got an inverter in it and hook your light up. Works like a champ. <laughs> Yeah, I think that'll do. That little power bank right there will run that thing for about three hours. But look at that, man. It's like daylight in there. That's one light. It helped me build this place. I've been working on this shop right here for quite some time. Still got a lot of work to do. I didn't have power in here. This dude right here came in handy. Charging batteries, running lights, small power equipment. It's freaking sweet. So overall, it's a great small design and it's a freaking powerhouse for the size right here. So the battery inside is a 606 watt hour or 164,000 milliamp hours lithium iron phosphate battery. And it weighs in just over 11 pounds, but it is lithium iron phosphate. So it doesn't matter what orientation this is in. It's gonna work just fine. There's no liquid in it whatsoever. 10 year battery. You can charge this thing from flat to 100%, I don't know, a thousand times or so. And then after that, you know, zero to 80%, 85% for the next nine, 10 years or however. I mean, how many times are you gonna freaking charge this thing up? It's gonna last you forever. So here up front, we got two AC outlets. This has a 700 watt pure sine wave alternating current inverter with a 1400 watt surge. It is pretty freaking good. On this side, we have our DC outputs. So we got three USB outputs here at five volts, three amps max. And then here on the end, we've got a USB-C, which is a hundred watt max. And then here we have two DC outputs that are 12 volts, five amp max. You can see here, we've got some ventilation here. There's two fans in this. We got a fan for the battery and a fan for the inverter and BMS system. And on this side, we got our inputs for charging the battery. Here we've got our barrel connector and you get a charging cable. It's got a brick. It's got the end a little barrel connector that goes inside of it to charge it. 20 volts at five amps. And then here we've got Anderson connections for a solar panel. So you can charge with a 100 watt max solar panel into this as well. And here we've got your car adapter. So if you're riding down the road, you can plug your car adapter into this and charge while you're on the go. And here's a cool little kicker right here. On the output side, that USB-C will also charge. So you can run solar and run a USB-C in with another battery pack or through shore power or something like that if you wanted to. Throw a little more juice in this rascal. The S700 has a really good battery management system in it. It protects from over voltage, short circuits, overheating. And I have tested that as well with uh, my saw over here. It kicks it out. I was able to run a hair dryer on low heat with this with no problem. Of course, as long as you're below that 700 mark, 1400 watt surge, it'll run. How long it's gonna run is gonna depend on what kind of load you put on. But for general uses like charging phones, running a computer, I even tested out a freaking 150 watt LED light that's now hanging up in the ceiling that's plugged in. I didn't have power out here. I wanted to see what kind of light you know, that, that it would produce out here. You could run a ham radio off of this if you wanted to. There's gonna be a little bit of noise off of it if you run it on uh, AC. There is a little bit of noise generated. And what I mean by noise, I mean frequency noise by the inverter, but it's not terrible. If you wanna rig it up where you can run it DC, should not have any problems whatsoever. That's ham radio, if you didn't know. If you wanna know more about what I'm talking about, I'll put a link down in the description to the ham radio video that I did. CQ parks on the air. When it comes to charging times, charging it here with your wall brick into this barrel connector right here, I saw around five and a half to six and a half hours charge time. If you were just using the USB-C as a charge, somewhere in that 10 hour, 10 and a half hour range. 
And then on the solar panel, of course, this is subjective to how much sun you're getting, how well your solar panels are performing and all that. You can see anywhere to around six and a half to seven hours from what I've been seeing. And then the car charger, go ahead and double it. You're looking at 12, 13, 14 hours to completely charge this up. I mean, you're not throwing a whole lot of juice when you're using 12 volt from your vehicle. I like it as small, as compact. As far as the build, the build is very nice. The handle right here snaps down really tight. Of course, it's plastic all the way around it, but it's built like a tank for what it is. It's freaking sweet. This thing is freaking dirty. I've been using it, but I have not taken these off yet. So, oh, y'all like that? Y'all like that? So satisfying. It's not really, I really don't care about doing this, but for whatever reason, some people do. So there you go, if you're into that. Oh. If you wanna see status, you can just hit this button right here and it'll pull up. Like right now it's at 99%. Here we have our output wattage. So if we were running something, it would say how many watts is pulling. And then here's the estimated time till the battery's flat or done, and no more juice. And right now it's at 299 hours. That's a long time. Let's say you wanted to charge up your phone, plug your phone in, plug that into my USB-C. I'm gonna hit the DC button. And now my phone is charging and it's pulling 10 watts. Nine watts is what it's pulling running that. Or we got us a, a battery here for one of my drills. You plug this into the AC outlet and you have to press and hold the AC button. You'll hear the fan kick on for the inverter. So it's not terribly loud. I mean, it's really not that loud at all, but the fan is gonna come on at the start of the inverter firing up and then it'll kick off. And then it'll cycle on and off as need be as the temperature goes up, or if you're really pulling heavy load, it might run all the time. But now with my phone and my battery charging here, I'm pulling 53 watts right now. So you're able to monitor your wattage and everything is good to go. What's also cool about this is it's got Bluetooth capability. If you press and hold this button, it beeps and Bluetooth is activated. So if we go to the app on our phone here, All Powers app, you can see the battery state is 98% and this green area will go down as the battery drains. So it's kind of like a liquid looking in there showing level. It's also got this green bar here underneath it shows what your input is if you're using solar panel or if you're charging by other means your output so currently we're at 52 watts i've got my phone and my drill battery hooked up it shows that the dc is on and the ac is on and then you got the lights here so you can turn your lights on and off from the app so that's pretty cool of course you can also turn your lights on individually on each side by pushing the button. Which is kind of nice, I've used it before, so my shop is a good ways from my house. And while I was working out here, it was two o'clock in the morning, time to go back to the house. I would walk with this, use it to illuminate my path back to the house and then plug it in to charge overnight for the next, next day of working out here. That's your app right there, really cool. Again, you can turn the AC on and off from the app. Like now, I just turned that off. As you can see, my output has now dropped down to eight watts. I can turn it back on. Fan's gonna come on. And then the fan should shut off. You can see the output's going up. 48, 49, 50, etc., etc. Damn, did I not fucking turn this back on? Forgot to turn my my backlight on. I had a backlight here I was going to be using the whole time. And it freaking. One of these days, I'm going to have all this automated. And I'm going to be like, I'm come in here and say, hey, let's record some stuff. And everything turns on like it's supposed to be that way. I ain't got to remember it. Getting old. My mind ain't what it used to be. To be quite honest, my mind ain't never been worth crap. Another question you may be asking yourself is, well, how accurate is the wattage out reading? Like, is it pretty accurate? 
I don't know. I don't have nothing to test against it. But I got this thing right here. Let's turn the DC off so we're not charging my phone so that we know we're just pulling from AC. So let's plug this guy in. It's gonna pass through. It's gonna tell us how many watts this battery charger here for the drill is pulling. And we'll compare it with how many watts this is saying and how many watts the uh, amp is saying. So right now it's saying this is pulling six watts on its own. So let's plug in this. See how many watts we're pulling. So we know we got six watts for this device, supposedly. This readout here is showing just for the battery. So this is stating that the battery is pulling 44.7 watts to charge. So now, because I don't want to do the math of what this is actually pulling, we're going to unplug it. 44.7 watts. Plug this in. Let's see how many watts is pulling according to the readout and the app. It's saying 49 to 50 watts. It's bouncing 49 to 50 watts on the app and on the screen right there. So there you go. So now let's test the DC side of things. I got this little meter here. I'll plug that into the USB-C. Forgot, I gotta turn my DC back on. Let's turn AC off. You gotta hold down the AC button to turn it off. So I plug my phone in here. I know y'all can't read that. This thing's got stupid tiny text. This one's got a lot of nice things on here. So we're pulling 5.2 volts at 4.8 ohms. The current, the amp draw is around 1.1 amps. And this here is saying five watts. So yeah, it's pretty, that, that's very close. We're at 4.99 to 5.18 watts. Right here, I'm saying five watts on the app. I'm saying five watts on the display. And I'm 5.03 watts at five volt. Yeah, so that worked just fine. This thing right here is really neat. Shows you all kind of information, temperature, all kind of junk. Stupid tiny text. As far as your solar input is concerned, All Powers has solar pack. Uh, uh, all powers has solar panels as well and they're pretty freaking nice when i first got this in the mail i took it out of the box very well packaged heavy foam all the way around this thing so you don't have to worry about it being damaged in shipping i was excited i quickly took it out of the box and i put it on the charger in the house plugged into the wall and brought it up to charge from there a little bit later i got the solar panel i tested it as well i don't recall the numbers i got Overall, it did great. Had pretty good amount of power coming in and it charged the battery just fine. Those of you that understand solar panels will know this. Those of you that don't, just understand if you buy a 100 watt solar panel or say you got some big huge system or whatever and you're using these kind of solar panels. If it's a 100 watt solar panel, don't expect it to do 100 watts all the time. Heck, you might not even should expect it to do 100 watts at all. It's not going to do exactly what the rating is. And there's a lot of factors behind that. Loss, angle of the sun, the, the, all, the, all the crap, right? But anyway, here's the solar panel. It's really nice. Very good Velcro. Really nice foldable solar panel. And then you got your legs on the back so that you can angle this out how you need. And on the back, it's got this zippered pocket which is really cool that comes with all your respectable cables respectable i don't respect you cable you know what i'm saying all your cables you got the main cable coming out of the solar panel right there with your connectors and you've got this one that has anderson power pole connectors or connector on the back red and black and then the respective male and female to hook to male and female here this can go out, you can zip your pocket back up. Also in the package, you get the connectors to the solar panel and a barrel connector to go in the side where this would if you're at the house. So you don't have to use the Anderson power poles to do solar, you can use the barrel connector. And it also comes with three extra barrel connector sizes so that if you were using this with any other type of battery or solar generator you can hook this to this to adapt to your different size barrel connectors oh and i guess i gotta clarify the connectors mc4 connectors is what these are these are mc4 connectors they just go into each other just like that you hold your mouth right 
they disconnect like that. So MC4 to Anderson, MC4 to barrel connector. And this solar panel is the SPAP27. It's a 100 watt solar panel, maximum power current of like 5.4 amps, and it's a polycrystalline panel. Very well made, great Velcro, great legs. The S700 and the 100 watt solar panel has been a lifesaver for me. I've really enjoyed it a lot. So that's my quick and dirty review of the All Powers S700. I think if you're looking for a smaller package that still packs a punch, this thing does pretty good. 700 watt max, 1400 surge. If your wife don't want to go camping with you because she can't dry her hair, well, she can run a hair dryer on low heat with this. A TV for tailgating, you know, if you're out tailgating and you want to watch the game while you're tailgating in the parking lot, it'll run that. It'll charge pretty much anything DC that you need to charge. Run your computers, ham radio equipment. If you got a separate battery that you're using for your ham radio, you can use this to charge that battery. And you can even use it to test lights. Basically, hang this thing up in the rafters, plug a light into it and see if you like how well the light works in your space like I did. So you can check out links down below for all powers if you're interested. If you wanna check it out, check it out. It's in the uh, description below and I believe there's a sale going on right now for both of these actually. And they got obviously larger ones and some smaller ones. So that's the All Powers S700. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Welcome to the first official video in my new space that I've been working on. I got a couple receptacles running. I got my wall put up this weekend. Freaking awesome. Love you, mean it. Bye.